guys, welcome back to my channel. So, I go on holiday a week today and I literally, like I can't even wait, like I'm just sitting here waiting for the week to go past. Anyway, so, I was just sitting here sorting out through my holiday bits because next week I've got a really, really busy week so I thought, no, I'm gonna try and be organised and get it all ready. And I was just going through it and I was like, actually, I should just show you some of the stuff that I'm taking on holiday with me because I feel like I always focus on fashion or I'll do like the occasional like makeup or beauty video but I thought I'll run you through some of my like holiday essentials I call it so these are kind of my kind of beauty products that I take away with me and I've got organised ready to take with me for next week um, because I'm not going to lie the clothes is a no-go at the moment like I have not even started to sort through my outfits or anything I'm the most unorganised person when it comes to clothes so I thought if I can at least be a little bit organised with the beauty side of things, then I'm halfway there. Okay, so the first thing I always take away whenever I go on holiday is a bottle of perfume, but I don't ever take my most expensive perfume away with me. I don't know why, but normally when I'm on holiday, I literally spray perfume about 10 times an hour. Literally, I'll be there like, shh, shh, and then like five minutes later, I'll spray again. I think it's because you get so hot and you're like, do I smell? And I'm one of these people that's always like, oh my god, do I smell? And like, start freaking out about things. So, <laughs> I wanted to take a new perfume with me and I was actually very lucky and I got sent um, two of the new misguided perfumes so if you've watched my videos you'll know that I love the Bay Power one which was the one um, that I featured a few times on my channel but because I got sent these two I was like I'm gonna try one so these perfumes are a great value for money the packaging is just unreal so I'm gonna show you two of them here and I'm only gonna take one with me but I've already decided which one I'm taking with me so these are two of the new ones, so they're £28 each on the Misguided website, I believe. So this one is called Babe Oud, and this one is called Babe Dreams. I just love the packaging, so this one says, don't give up on your daydream, and this one says, own it all day, every day. And this is the one I'm going to take with me. I'm just going to put it out there. If you guys are a fan of Tom Ford, uh, Black Orchid is it? I'm used to names, I just know it's the Tom Ford one that I like. Um, it literally smells like almost identical. So it's called Babe Oud and it's just got the really cute can um, detail similar to the um, Babe Power one. All of their perfumes are like this and they're really, really cool. So this is one that's coming on holiday with me because I just know that I like the smell on my skin already. And for £28, I don't think it's really, I don't think it's bad at all. But I'll link it below for you. So if you're looking for a new perfume, you've got to try these. So basically that's sorted because I know I'm going to smell nice on holiday. And obviously things like deodorant, obviously I take with me, but that doesn't need to come into this video. So next up, based on what I've just said, I feel like this is actually going to go quite well. So <laughs> you're going to laugh. These are literally life when I go on holiday. I'm not even joking. I went to Magaluf with the girls when I was 18. Um, and I literally took these everywhere with me. I went to Dubai Zach, took these everywhere with me. These come wherever I go on holiday. So I've got, I picked these up in Superdrug and it's three for two. So I got, well I got three, but I've already used one packet. So these two are for my holiday. So these ones are the anti-back wipes and <laughs> I don't know, like when I get on a plane, I'm just a bit like funny. So if I'm, if I'm on a long haul flight especially and I want to like have a nap or something, you know sometimes you like put your head down on the table. I just always have these to like clean the table. So these just come on holiday with me. I use them on the plane sometimes or I'll just um, have them in my handbag because I don't know, you never know when you're going to need a wipe. And then these ones are the deodorant wipes, so they're called Quickies Deodorant Wipes. And it says you never know when you might need one, but literally these are like life. They're so handy because it's just like spraying deodorant but you haven't got to carry a can or anything around with you. So I just keep these in my beach bag when I'm on holiday and the same with these. But they're really, really cheap and really, really useful. So you can imagine me on holiday with my deodorant wipes, my anti-back wipes and my perfume. I've got like a dream team going on. So this one I need to buy a new one of and I've ordered one. It hasn't arrived yet but I've still got half left so I can still show you. So this is the Mario Badescu Skincare Facial Spray. So this one is the Aloe and Rose Water one. Guys, I'm not even joking. This is the best thing. So I think it's about £8 and I use it to set my makeup. I use it to put on my face before makeup. If my foundation, like when I'm putting on my skin, looks a bit dry, then I'll just like squirt it all over my face. If I'm hot, I spray it. I literally use this all the time, and I also feel like it just freshens your face up nicely. I bought mine in Urban Outfitters, but you can get it in, I think you can get it on Beauty Bay, I think. If I can find it, I'll link it below. But I first heard of it because I saw Holly Boone had it, and I thought I need to try it. And <clears throat> yeah, this is like my third one now, and I just love it, and I spray it all the time. So yeah, I'm just going to take that with me because it will keep my makeup fresh and also when I haven't got makeup on it will just give my skin a nice boost. As you guys know from my last video I said that my hair was in a bit of a bad way at the moment. 
I'm trying to really look after it. So I was in town with mum the other day and I went into Rush Hair Salon. As I walked past, I noticed this in the window. And it's just called the Kerastase Paris Nourishing Routine for Severely Dry Hair. So I spoke to a lady in there. This was on offer for, I think it was either 10 or 20 pounds, can't quite remember. But it, basically it's just perfect for my holiday. So it's got the shampoo, the hair mask and the leave-in um, like thermo protector. So yeah, I just thought this is travel friendly and it's going to protect my hair at the same time. So... Fingers crossed, my hair it doesn't come back in a worse condition than it goes in, but obviously I'm going to try and really look after it this time on holiday. Then while we're on the topic of like looking after yourself, I've also picked up, well actually my mum picked this up for me, it's the Hawaiian Tropic Lip Balm SPF 30. So I just like looking after my lips when I'm on holiday because I'm like, I just don't want to get really dry lips. So this was £2.90 and I'm not actually sure where she got it from, but I have a feeling it could have been Primark because I know that they sell... Hawaiian Tropic in there but yeah so this is my like the perfect handy handbag essential now the most important one is face so when I go abroad I don't really like to um, sit out in the sun for too long in the, in the actual sun like I prefer to sit in the shade because I just don't want to burn especially my face I'm really worried about it because I've got like a lot of freckles you can't really see them on camera but I've got quite a few freckles so I always like really look after my skin so Tropic is the brand that I use. If you've followed me for a while, you'll know that when I went to Greece last year, I did like a little um, Instagram story, kind of just running through the products that I use. Um, so I've used them for a while now. They are really, really, really good products. They're really, really good products and they're vegan, so it's perfect. So I'm just gonna show you this. This is my cute little bag to put them in. So these are all new ones because the ones from last year, as you can imagine, have um, all gone. So, so I've got the skin shading SPF 30 and 50. I always put 50 on my face and then 30 on my body. It's not too thick. I quite like this brand because, um, you know, like sometimes it goes on, it's really thick and hard to rub in. Like, it's got a nice consistency to it, like it is thick, but you can easily rub it into your skin without it going everywhere. So these two are here. But this one is my lifesaver. So this is the SPF 50, but it's, it's like a tinted sun cream. So I'll pop this on for the days that I'm around the pool and... I want to have like a bit of colour on my face because normally when I go in the sun my skin doesn't tan like I said to you and I don't really like to get my face burnt or tanned really. So yeah this is just the SPF 50 tinted skin shade. So it's got UVA and UVB protection and yeah I normally put this on like 15 minutes before I go out in the sun. And I didn't realise but you can actually like become a rep for Tropic. I think one of the girls that's in the year below me, I don't know if she still does it but she did it and it's really good because then you can have all these products and you can just order it through somebody that you know. And then more importantly is the sun soothe. So this is like the after sun. I literally pile on the after sun when I'm on holiday. Obviously it's all vegan. It's a cooling one, so it does actually feel a bit cold like when you put it on, so it's quite nice because you come in from a day in the heat and you're like, I need something cold, and it does feel quite cold. So these are my favourite little products. My mum now uses them too as well, and I just think it's really important to have like a good brand. I actually managed to go to an event, uh, I think it was last year or the year before, and I met the, um, the founder, and she's so lovely, and she was running us through like the story of how she used to make these like make up little potions um, back in Australia where she lived and it was so interesting and now obviously it's like ridiculously successful business so yeah this is the little bag that I'm going to put it in and I'll link the website below so you can have a look then I'll go on to one more beauty product before I go on to a few makeup goodies so <laughs> this is the Palmer's Natural Bronze Body Lotion so it's a gradual tanner basically and I used to use this like all the time when I was at uni, literally like every night and I would be so dark and I recently started using it again and I thought I'm actually going to take it on holiday with me because although it's quite big and it's not like tiny, I don't want to, like I said to you, I don't really want to sit out in the sun for too long and I don't really want to, like I don't know if I'm even going to tan that much so I just thought I'll put some of this on so you feel a bit more confident like before you get there. So I'm going to take this with me, I will probably start applying it to give myself a few days um, wear out of it and have a nice colour and then obviously I can top it up when I'm out there but it's so nice because it literally sits on your skin when I wear it to bed it, you literally feel like you're it's almost like you can literally feel it soaking up your skin because it just feels so nourished um, so it's got a coconut oil formula with vitamin E but yeah honestly it just feels like so nice and your skin feels so soft afterwards so that's going to come away with me I think Zach's going to get a bit jealous because I'm going to have a tan basically before we go but it's really natural like it doesn't it doesn't look like you've got fake tan on it, it's not even really fake tan, it's like I said, it's like a moisturiser with gradual tan built in. So I'll link that below for you also, but it's, I'd really recommend it. It's got a really nice smell as well that reminds you of being on holiday. So finally, I'm going to go on to my makeup goodies. So when I'm away, in the daytime especially, I don't really like to wear makeup, but as you all know, I am very self-conscious to sit around without makeup on. 
majority of the time. So when I'm sitting around the pool and stuff and when I go out in the evening, I like to wear makeup but I don't like anything that's too thick because my skin just like, when it's been in the sun and then you try and put makeup on, it just doesn't cooperate to be honest. So um, I am taking a BB cream with me. If you follow me on Instagram, you'll see that I put this on my story a few weeks ago. Um, it's the Argan Gold one. I'm a big fan of the brand. I've had their primer before and I actually featured it in one of my makeup videos. It's really, really good. When, they, when I saw they had a BB cream, I knew I had to take it on holiday with me. I tend to apply it in the evenings when I'm going out or sometimes if I'm around the pool. And the reason I like this one, so it's just here, the reason I like this one is because it's quite dark, but it's blendable. It just gives a really nice finish. It just comes in this really cute bottle and it's got a lid. So it's called the Argan Liquid Gold Multi-Tone BB Cream and it is infused with organic argan oil and 24 karat gold. So as you can see, I'm hoping you can see, it's got quite a lot of colour to it. I really hope you can see. But not like too dark, but for me it's perfect because when you, it just really blends in, it's really lightweight and it just gives a really nice smooth finish. So yeah, I often pop this on in the evening or if I'm going to like a pool party or something where I need that coverage and that kind of nice colour. So I still put all my powder over the top of it, like my bronzer, my highlight, and it does look really, really nice. And you'd think because it's like a BB cream that it would kind of slide off my face, but it actually doesn't. I've not found it to be a problem. This next one I have actually got on my skin today. I don't even know if you can see it because the lighting, but I have got this highlight on. So this is the Laura Geller highlighter and it gives a really nice golden finish. So I have got it on... I've got it on my inner corner and just on my cheekbone um, today and on my nose and I like taking this away because it just gives a golden glow, it's nothing too heavy, I love looking bronzed and golden. So it comes in this little box here, as you can see I've absolutely ripped it apart and the highlight is just so nice. I'm hoping you can see that. It's just a really nice golden colour whereas my other highlighters are kind of more pink toned. So this is the Gilded Honey highlighter, I'm going to swatch it for you, look. It is so nice, like it's so golden and really, really easy to just apply. And, like as you can see, it's everywhere. It's really, really nice and you don't need much product at all. Like I've probably just wasted like half of it there, but um, yeah, it's really, really nice. And it's actually the first Laura Geller product that I've tried. I absolutely love it. So I'll link that below for you. Then next up, I'm just taking my Too Faced Just Peachy palette, which I've got on my eyes today. Not that I've done much with my eye makeup today. And this is just the color, my go-to color. So Often when I'm away, I don't really put on like loads and loads of eye makeup, but in the evening I think it's nice too sometimes. So this is the matte palette. So as you can see, I haven't used some of the colours. So the ones that are my go-to colours are Fresh Picked, Just Peachy, Peach Tea and Peach Cobbler. Um, so these are kind of just nice colours when you're away. Uh, Too Faced, as you know, is one of my favourite brands. But it comes actually with a really useful little booklet that gives you some eye makeup ideas and tells you what colours to use and whereabouts. So this one is coming away with me this time. I've never taken it away with me before because it's new. Um, I think I've had it about a month. So I've only actually used it a handful of times, but I just really like the colours. I feel like they are really nice and easily blendable. So that's that one. I'll link that below for you. Then the next palette that I'm going to take is my classic Benefit palette. So this is the Cheek palette. Now I think I paid £49 for this I think um, and I actually bought it for my um, like client makeup kit but I've kind of stolen it back for myself now so I'm going to have to buy another one anyway. So this is called Cheek Parade and it's got Hula Light, Hula, California, Dandelion and Rocketeur. So it, I, I don't, I'm hoping you can see. So it just comes with some bronzers and blushes. So Hula is my go-to bronzer when I'm on holiday and I love California for a nice little glow. Um, but Rocketeur is kind of like, I use it sometimes as a highlighter because it has got a nice highlight to it. I just feel like if you've got everything in one, it's so much easier. I don't have to take like three different bronzers or anything. So I just take this, it's actually really travel friendly because it's got all of it in one. And I got that from Boots for £49. And then finally, my go-to lip combo, I've got this on today. So it's the NYX Suede Liner in Leon and then the um, Soft Matte Lip Cream in Cyprus. So I normally wear London or Athens, but I've gone for a bit more of a pinky colour now. So these two together are really, really nice. And I often put Vaseline on over the top when I'm on holiday, just to give it more of a glossy feel. And I feel like it stops the matte, matte lip gloss from going any going dry or anything. So those are my holiday essentials slash beauty essentials. Kind of just what I'm taking away with me this year. I feel like I've been productive because I've sorted it all out and I've showed you at the same time. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was just kind of an insight into what I'm taking away with me. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.